In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is Father Dan um, at St. Rita's in Shiloh, Arizona. Uh, We're on our second day now of the Novena to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, uh, entrusting ourselves and our, all of our communities uh, to the care of the Blessed Virgin Mary and to our dearest Lord, Jesus. At Mass today, the collect or the opening prayer, the alternate op opening prayer, makes reference to Mary's part in sharing in the passion of Christ by associating herself with his passion, as it were. And uh, I want to read that prayer uh, before we begin the novena. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the passion of Christ, grant, we pray, through her intercession that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son, and come at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Whether you're aware of it or not, the Blessed Virgin Mary is intricately involved in your personal salvation, not because of any intrinsic worthiness on her part, but this is a role that has been given to her in virtue of her being the mother of the Savior, the mother of God. So we entrust ourselves to her care, along with all of the saints and angels, who, as being part of the family of God, have a profound love for us all. You also, if you are in Christ, living the divine life, participate in the salvific act of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why we need to consciously join ourselves with the passion of the Lord. We are all involved in this together as long as that we are in Christ. It's not necessary that anyone else be involved in the redemption of the Lord. But it's God's will that it be that way. St. Paul reminds us of that when he says that he makes up in our own bodies what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ not any intrinsic lacking in the sufferings of Christ, but that the Father wills that we join ourselves, all of our lives, with the passion of our Lord, and in that way we participate in the redeeming of the world. But let's move on to our novena for the day, day two. Immaculate Virgin, by the holy will of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you are my mother in heaven. Your immaculate heart is full of love, mercy, and compassion for sinners like me. I ask that you intercede for me today for the needs of our parish, the parish of St. Rita, for our entire community suffering from the affliction of the pandemic, this coronavirus, for all those who are caring for the sick, and for all those who are lonely and alienated. Pray in a very special way for my brother, that he continued to heal from his operations. I trust in the intercession before the throne of God for my needs. Please pray also that if my requests are not in accordance with the will of God, that I may be like you, conformed to his will and not my own. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Now we have our act of consecration, written by Pope Pius XII. Most Holy Virgin Mary, tender mother of men, to fulfill the desires of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the request of the Vicar of your Son on earth, we consecrate ourselves and our families to your, your sorrowful and immaculate heart. O Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, and we recommend to you all the people of our country and of all the world. Please accept our consecration, dearest Mother, and use us as you wish to accomplish your designs in the world. O sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of the world, rule over us, together with the sacred heart of Jesus Christ, our King. Save us from the spreading flood of modern paganism, 
kindle in our hearts and homes the unity of love and the love of purity. The practice of a virtuous life, an ardent zeal for souls, and a desire to pray the rosary more faithfully. We come with confidence to you, O throne of grace and mother of fair love. Inflame us with the same divine fire which has inflamed your own sorrowful and immaculate heart. Make our hearts and our homes your shrine, and through us, make the heart of Jesus together with your rule. Triumph in every heart and in every home. Amen. We continue to pray for each other. And I want everyone to know that, of course, this novena is linked on our webpage, stridasholo.com, stridasholo.com. I will try to get this on the uh, our YouTube page more quickly earlier tomorrow. And it'll be the third day of our novena, nine days of prayer and consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The um, schedule for our Holy Week services uh, will be available. The recordings of them will be available on our YouTube channel. For Palm Sunday, it will be available at 1 p.m., Arizona time, which is also California time. On Holy Thursday, it will be available at 7 p.m. On Good Friday, at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, the Passion Service will be available. The Easter Vigil will be available at 7 p.m. And Easter Sunday Mass will be available at 1 p.m. This will be listed on the website also. And I invite you to uh, join with us in prayer uh, at these Masses and these services. This Holy Week is going to be a wonderful time for us all. It's a great time uh, for prayer and penance and a reflection on the very purpose of life. If you haven't ever asked yourself, I would recommend that you do that and answer if you can today. What is the purpose of life? Why do I exist? I'll answer that tomorrow. May God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you.